Appalachian Mountains, Susquehanna River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country roads take me on to the place I belong. So we just got here at the property at the farm today and the sun is shining. Yesterday it was raining, the sun's up and I said, let's go take a walk and find some sheds. It's the middle of March right now. All the snow is gone. And as soon as I stepped out of this cabin, I looked out in the field and about a hundred yards down there, if you can zoom up on that little bit of white, I said, there is something sticking up in that field out there that doesn't match the rest. It's got to be either a corn stalk bent over or an antler. Let's go take a look. I was up in the top of the barn with binoculars on the tripod and I was scanning the field to see if I could see anything, but I didn't see anything. Then I stepped out on the porch and I just look with my eye. That's got to be an antler. Look how it's curved. Can you see it now? I think so. And then I said, when I looked at it from about here, 50 yards away, and I was like, nah, there's no way it's an antler because it's so long and skinny. There, it can't be an antler that, that long and skinny. But I stopped. I said, let me go back and get the camera for this because it just might be an antler. So I haven't walked up to it. I might be lying to you. I might be excited for no reason. Look, it's all fine. If that's an antler, if that's an antler, it's a good one. Oh, I think it is. Holy cow. What? Holy crap. I said holy crap on the last video. Look at this thing. What? Look how thick that sucker is. It's frozen. I, ugh, it was down in there. Woo! Look at the mass on that thing. No, Dougie. Wow. Look how thick this is. I, I am going to look for the matching set. Is that something over there? I don't know. We're going to look around. I'm going to look around. If I find a set to this one, this thing is so thick. My hand barely gets around that. Look how fat that is around there. Wow. That's a good deer for this area. That is a solid buck. Really nice. All right. Stay tuned. We're going to try to find some more or the matching set to this one. You got one, huh? Yes, sir. Right by the feeder. I, thought that, I saw that over there when I was over there. I saw that when we came up too. I was like, uh oh, is that the big one we need? They, they cut through there. Yeah. Well, what is? What do you got here? Oh, that's not bad. He's an eight pointer. He's only a year and a half old. Nice, nice dude. Knife out of that. Dude. Right on. My first shot up here was. Nice, I'm glad you found one. Walk the perimeter all the way around, and then in the middle there's a strip I cut. Go in the middle, but most of the deer follow this top edge. If you walk this top edge and come down, right. look there. And see that pine tree back in there? Yeah. I found a half. I found one back there last month, so the other half might be around there somewhere, but there was so much snow I couldn't I couldn't find on, it. So. Go on, Doug, get the I gotta, the I'm going to change the uh, SD card here and fill up this feeder, so... Find our big one. Yeah. All right, we're crossing in the foggy in the fields where we have the best luck finding the handlers. It's easier. And we spotted this guy here from a distance. Oh, 
kablam! Powie! Zamo! Wowie! Look at this. Golly! Look at that bad boy. This one's pretty chalky, it's pretty white. I don't know if that's this year's or an older one, but it's still solid, still a nice one. All right, we got the rack hub in the mail. So here's the box, and here's the antlers we found when we did that shed hunt, where we found them both sticking in the snow together. That's them right here. We're going to try to put them on this rack up. There's the mount. And you loosen these and you can swivel it however you want. Your little tool kit and instructions. So these are the little inserts that go inside the antlers and it comes with the drill bit that matches this. So the instructions say mark your drill bit at one inch. When we drill through here, we want to make sure that the drill bit don't come through on an angle or kick out this way. So you kind of want to have your drill bit completely in line with the button on the bottom. So you can see how that button is. We can only go an inch, so we have to get that angle just right. Now that we got our two holes drilled, we got to put the inserts in. Once you got it on there, you can turn this and adjust it to the to where the rack looks the way it should. So I put the antlers on here and underneath right here, there's a hole for an Allen key to tighten them up. So you, after you have it set the way you want it, pop those antlers off and then you just gotta screw this onto the wall. Well, I decided on this post here because we need a little wow factor when you come in here. So now when you come in, what do you think? Well, it looks like this side is tilting downward a little more than that is. So this one, this side needs to get twisted up. Like that. Try to make these two points kind of even. That looks better.